Hello again, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Joe Hindi, the Android Authority App Guy, and welcome back to Android Apps Weekly. It's our first Wednesday show. It's also episode number 113, so let's get right into those headlines. Telltale Games has announced that their Game of Thrones game will be free to download. The various episodes will still cost you money, but the upfront cost is now zero, so you can try it out without buying anything. They also announced that the final episode is coming next month. After a successful iOS launch, The Walking Dead No Man's Land will be coming to Android here in the next few days. It's slated for official launch on October 29th, and if it's anything like its iOS counterpart, it'll be free with in-app purchases. Apple Music has been spotted in the wild and we have a potential idea of what the application may look like. Surprisingly, it looks like it'll stick to Android's design guidelines, at least to an extent. There's still no timeline for an official launch right now, but do keep in mind that this may not be what the final product looks like. YouTube Red was officially announced late last week. The subscription service is $9.99 per month and will include features like an ad-free YouTube experience, screen off video playback, offline video download, and a complete subscription to Google Play Music All Access. Frankly, that's an awesome deal and it'll be launched officially on October 28th, hopefully no one gets it confused with RedTube. On top of YouTube, Red Google also announced a new application called YouTube Music. This will essentially be like YouTube Kids and YouTube Gaming, except it'll block out all the content aside from music-related stuff. Of course, there will be additional features available for the application if you subscribe to YouTube Red. For even more Android apps and games news, don't forget to check out this week's newsletter, which is linked in the video description below. We have a lot of information there that we didn't have time for here, and it's the best way to stay up to date on the latest Android Android apps and games news. If you want, you can use the form in the written companion, which is also linked in the video description below, and sign up for the newsletter, which we now send out every single Wednesday. Okay, folks, let's take a look at the apps and games that made a big splash this week. As usual, if you want to check any of these applications out, you can find those links in the video description below. Xer for Twitter is a new application that lets you quickly and easily create images using web pages. Here's how it works. You go to a web page, news article, or whatever you want, and then you use the application to capture a snippet of the content you want to share. Then you can have, say, a quote from the article while also having 140 characters to input your opinion about it. It's totally free with no in-app purchases, and aside from a few early bugs, it seems to work rather well. Parchy is a Microsoft application that came out of their garage project. This one is a lightweight and colorful note-taking application that works pretty much like any other note taking app. The unique feature of this app is the ability to add hashtags to your various notes. You can then search the hashtags to find the notes. This is a fun little idea that many of us can pick up and use without thinking too much about how to make it work. It's also free with no in-app purchases. Trickshot is a minimal physics-based puzzle game developed by Jonathan Topp, who most notably is a member of the US2 team that brought us Monument Valley. In this simple game, you must get the ball into the box. The game uses various tools and obstacles to both help and hinder your progress, but most levels have an air of elegance about them despite the game's simplicity. There are over 90 levels available and you get an unlimited number of chances to try again. It's $1.99 and there are no in-app purchases. Boomerang from Instagram is a new application that is, as the name implies, from Instagram. With this application, you can create fun little one-second videos that run on a loop. Here's how it works. The app takes 10 photos and then stitches them together to create a fun little loopable GIF type of animation that you can then share on Facebook, Instagram, and other places. It's totally free with no in-app purchases and, of course, do be cautious of those early release bugs. Prune is an interesting atmospheric puzzle game. Here's how this game works. There is a tree that continuously grows and there is also a light source. Your job is to prune the tree so that it grows into the light source and blooms pretty flowers. Prune doesn't bill itself as being an overly difficult game, but it can be challenging at times. The overall experience is one of relaxation and that permeates through all parts of the game, including the graphics, soundtrack, and even the gameplay controls. It's fun and there are also no in-app purchases with this one. Once again, I'm Joe Hindi from Android authority.com while you're here you might as well subscribe to the android authority youtube channel if you're hanging out for a minute we have a couple of awesome videos for you to watch right over there and they're also linked in the video description below for you folks on mobile finally don't forget to check out the written companion which is in the video description below and don't forget to sign up for that newsletter as always thanks for watching everybody and have a wonderful day